Hello, this tutorial is to discuss about a Python program to design a database application to search a specific record from the database. We are using here a table which is named as student table with the fields roll number, name and age. We have a GUI. In the GUI, we have three different fields roll number, name and age and a search button. When we enter a particular roll number and we search, if the details are available, the name and age should be displayed within the respective edit control. On click of clear, all the content of the control should be cleared. We assume that we have a database and we have already created a student table in MySQL with a field name as roll number, name and age. For doing this database program in Python, we are using PyMySQL module and to design the GUI, we are using uh, the Tkinter module. In our applications, we have different controls like label, entry control and button. To each of the button, we need to write some functions which are required to be executed when we click on that button. So we have a button which is named as search button. So we are first writing the logic which is required for our search button. The name of the function which we are writing for the search button is named as search. In the method, we are writing the logic for fetching the content from the database to the respective roll number which we have entered. So first, we have to establish a connection to our database. So we use the method pymysql.connect where we specify the details regarding our database like username of our database which is root password and the host machine name and uh, the database name. The database name we assume that it is DB. Then after that we have to execute our query. Uh, in order to execute an SQL query in Python we need to first create a cursor. So we create a cursor from the connection by using the method cursor. After that, we are creating an SQL query statement. Select star from student where roll number equal to. We have written a percentage S. This percentage S will be replaced from the detail which we have entered in the first entry control. We are assuming that the first entry control has been associated with a variable which is named as roll number. So from the roll number we get the value and that value will be replaced at percentage s and so, the, so that the query will be formed. Once a query has been formed, we execute the query by using execute method of cursor. So if the execute method returns some results or records from the database, so we can fetch that from the cursor by using the method fetch1 or fetch all. Since we are using the primary key for, for, for the roll number, we may be able to fetch a maximum of only one record for a particular roll number. So we use fetch1 method to fetch uh, one single record which has been selected and it gets stored into the variable result. In the result, there are three fields will be present, roll number, name and age. Whereas result 0 will be the roll number, result 1 will be the name and result 2 will be the age. The values will be taken and it will get assigned to the respective variable. We assume that we have two variables name and age associated with the second and third entry control. So the content of result of 1 which is the name from the database will get stored into the second entry control because name is associated with the second entry control. Similarly age from the database will get stored into the third entry control because the third entry control is associated with the variable which is named as age. Once the data has been displayed we change the entry control status of E1 as disabled because a new roll number should not be entered into that and we close the connection. 
During the execution of any statement, if an exception occurs, it goes into the accept block. There we show the message box that there are no such data available and we clear the content which is entered in the entry controls. Another button is the clear button. So we are writing the logic for clear button inside a method named as clear. All the controls associated variables will be cleared by using set method. We make it null. And the first entry control state we will make it as normal because previously we have disabled it. So during the click of clear, we make the first entry control into the normal state so that the user can still enter the data into the roll number entry control. By using TK constructor, we are creating a window. Some of the properties associated with the windows are getting changed by calling the respective method. We change the title. The width and height of the window we are changing by calling the geometry method. We are creating a label for displaying some information on the window. The name of the label which we have created is P title. So since we want to enter multiple lines of text into the label text, we are using three code so that multiple lines of text can be entered directly inside the text of the label. The label has to be created for the window. That's why the first parameter is the window object name, which is W1. The title of the program label P title is placing on the 0th row and 0th column and it has to be spanned for two columns ahead. That's why column span is written as 2. After that, we are first declaring the different string variables which are required for our different entry controls. We have totally three different entry controls. So each entry control we are creating a string where. So it is named as roll number, name and age. This string where has to be associated with the respective entry control during the creation of that. So that each entry control will be associated with a string variable that can be used to fetch the detail of the entry control or to change that. We create the first label as L1 that displays the roll number and its corresponding entry control is named as E1. The text variable attribute is used to associate a variable to the entry control. So we have written text variable equals roll number so that the roll number string variable will get associated with the first entry control E1. Similarly, we will create two more set of label and entry control. The second set is for the name. So label text property we are changing as name. The label and entry controls names are changed as L2, E2, L3 and E3. The text variable for the second entry control is name.
and the third label is displaying as the text age and the third entry controls associated text variable is age so totally we have created three labels and three entry controls each entry control has been associated with the corresponding text variable roll number name and age after that we are creating two buttons the first button text search and the command is used to associate the respective function to be called when we click on the button so we have already defined a search method so button 1 is associated with the command search similarly we create a next button which is named as b2 the text is displayed within the button as clear and the command is used to associate the respective function for the button 2 button 2 is associated with the function named as clear By using the grid method, we are aligning the different controls into the window. By using the grid method, we are aligning the different controls by using its row and column attributes. The main loop method for our particular window has been called so that the window will be capable of handling the events which are generated by our operating system like key event, mouse event or any other event which occurs it will be captured by our operating system and it can be handled by our program. Execute and see the program output. During the execution we are entering the roll number into the first entry control. We have entered the roll number as 101 and we search. So during the search, the content will be picked up from the database table. We assume that there is some data, name and age for 101 and 102. So it will come into the entry control. So for 103, there is no data available within our table. Thank you for watching this video.